is Ivan Gonzalez. I'm a legal assistant. And this is Teal Firms. This is your Teal, Teal Legal Minute. And this is... Hi, this is Yan Zong, Associate Attorney Work at uh, Teal Firms. And like I said, we're talking about Women's International Business Month. Uh, today we're going to be talking about equity and equality. Um, so let's go into the definition of equity. Equity is giving everyone what they need to be successful. So what does that mean? That means when, let's say, let's say we have a, a scenario where we have a fence and everybody wants to see over the fence, equity gives everyone the chance to see over the fence. So we have three people and it goes from medium height to small height to large height. Equity is gonna provide everyone the chance to see over that fence by giving them a stool or something uh, to see over the, scent, the fence. Uh, equality, however, it just states that there's a fence there and maybe only the tall person can see, um, but not everybody has the, the same resources as the tall person. Um, so the definition of equality is treating everyone the same. So no one will be provided a store or what have you. Um, what is, uh, so equity aims to, to level the playing, playing field. So that's why we're talking about these two things and how it relates to business and international business law, uh, international business month, uh, women's business month, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, so what's currently happening in uh, business today, uh, Yen? Uh, so based what I have seen uh, as a lawyer in the legal world, I have heard a lot of cases like women, even today, women still say, like, claim there, uh, uh, we still have cases going on like gender discrimination, like uh, sexual harassment. Uh, also, my uh, supervising attorney uh, just give give us some 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 interesting information. So uh, United. United Nations have uh, conventions like uh, elimination of all forms of gender discrimination. It's kind of like a treaties, but so, unfortunately, those treaties does not have like a practical um, effect in the life yet because some like legislation uh, reason for example like United States even though the the, the president signed the, uh, the convention um, with the United Nations the Congress still need to prove it or oh, there are some other process requirements so it's not every con like conventions or treaties that are part of the United uh, States uh, legislation but we do have something in the legislation so women can always go to court and ask the judge to uh, have the judgment in favor of them because there are general discrimination like sexual harassment those stuff and also uh, women also have some other disadvantage uh, in the workplace like they have very limited access to a higher level position like because you know like there are a lot of not too many women outside in the business world are taking even taking control over like a whole department and they also that's data showing there is a wage gap between men men <laughs> male and female so those are the main issues that i have seen during my life and my work oh wow that's very interesting so what are what are the options um for women that are uh that are that are not being hired, that are um, that are not being hired and expected to accept these responsibilities, these feminist responsibilities, and how does this apply to feminism? So uh, yeah, we just talk about women who work in uh, a workplace and the issues they they run into. So, but for those who are not who are not working who will stay at home they also have some problems they have very limited access to finance they have very uh like limited access to financial stability and they have very limited independences and as what i just share with my my colleagues i have kirk at the post decree call uh, for uh, a domestic relationship judge and then cases and cases I see in the court 
the couple come in and then they may marry for like several years and the lady stay at home taking off everything housework kids like supporting the the husband at the back and now the husband coming to the call say i don't want to stay with her anymore i want to get divorced and the lady have to let the judge know like oh i don't get any pay from those work I stay at home and I don't I, I, I don't have like further education. Um I, I if I go out for to find a work now, it's very hard for to for me to find work. And she doesn't also she didn't she I, I mean those lady they don't have enough um money to afford their life up to that. So it's very it always makes me feel very sad for those ladies. Um so I would say like um for those like ladies who are not working uh, at uh, who are not working outside i mean who are not working who are working at home they they it will give no opportunity for them to uh be uh, to be advanced as individuals yeah so that must make it really hard especially with women um who are s single parent mothers and uh they have to work all day like personal experience uh, my mother worked all morning and she had to uh, provide uh, services so that, you know, I could be watched as a kid. Um, so it was probably really hard for her. Um, moving on, what is the biggest issue um, preventing e equity in workplaces that you can see? Well, in my opinion, is people's attitude. It's a very long history that people always have this typical thoughts like, like oh, we being uh, something else. They <laughs> are not as smart as men. Like I just told my uh, colleague that the environment I grew up, I'm not growing in the United States, but it's like the whole world thing. I grew up in an environment that my family members will say, oh, girls are not as smart as boys. Like once you grow up, boys will do excellent work than girls. But what my parents told me is like, no, that's not true. You should do what whatever those boys can do, you can do it. There are no differences. You should not have that thoughts in your mind to limit yourself, to limit like, and also discourage your girls' bodies. <laughs> yeah, so that's uh, part of my, I mean, the reason that I think those issues come up. Oh, wow. Uh, I feel here, it's it's quite the opposite. Girls are, are more smarter, <laughs> more smarter than the boys. Uh, <laughs> so how do these issues practically, uh, you know, affect women and how, how they are already in the workplaces, like with sexual harassment, gender based biases, attitudes, or uh, or what is cultural? Yeah. Yeah. So I, I we have mentioned like uh, sexual harassment, like gender bias attitudes, and also Ivan just uh, talk about his story. Her, her his story about his mom need to work and take care of him. That also happened to me. Like women always have need to have like work life balance. Like my, I'm always the last one to be picked up by my mom <laughs> when I was a little kid. Uh, my dad, well, at the beginning, my dad didn't take care of that part. And later, my parents kind of like had it down to agreement. And st my dad started picking me up sometimes, like my, if my mom uh, was laid out of work. But it's kind of like, I, I don't think that's like only a example for me i think that's an example for a lot of people a lot of life even my i know my supervisor also have the same issue like we need to balance uh uh work on life and also i have friends who just gave birth to a little cute baby recently and then we realized that there are also some issues even law i mean even we have legal um requirements for employer to to like like for some requirement to protect those lady who just uh, gave birth to babies, but it may not enough because what I learned from my friends is that baby will wake up like every three every three hours the f during the first three months, and she is the she is like breastfeeding the baby, so she also need to wake up every three hours. And think about it, ladies need to wake up every three hours during the nighttime and daytime. They if the the employer does not allow them to take off from work, they also need to work, they don't have enough energy to work the whole day. So I feel like maybe um, for the 
bigger part. We need to have some more, like allow women to have some more time to, uh, after they they give birth to baby, they can have some more time to uh, take care of the baby and then ready to get back to work. More more time to uh, recuperate. I, I want to say, and so how can we change the system? Because like I feel the the system has a, a equality aspect of which what, what you just said with the you know your friend having to wake up and all that um how can we change the system to uh provide true uh equity in the workplace um i i mean based but like according to my experience i feel like one thing i would say is family education. It's not only education from school. It's family, like, I grew up in an environment like parents always tell me there are no differences between men and women. And that kind of, I mean, opinions are worse, is deep in my mind. So I feel like as I, a, a, a lady who has worked in, the, worked in, the, in this society, worked in a business place and who may have a family later, I will educate my kids in the same way. No matter you are, I mean, no matter you are a male or female, no matter your, girl, like your kid is a boy or a girl or both, you should let them know there are no differences. As a boy, you should treat the girl the same way, and as a girl, don't limit yourself because someone else tell you that you are not as smart as the boy. So I think that's uh, one thing that I would like to mention, and also we have mentioned that legislation should pass some more uh, law to protect uh, women in the workplace for like gender discrimination, harassment, uh, also like protect those women who are not working in this. I mean, the business world. Um, there may be some other ideas. How about, what do you think, Ivan? Um, I think there should be, there should be a, a major cultural shift where it's more more equity as opposed to equality. Because I know from, from personal experience, I have a sister-in-law who's, uh, she's working currently right now and um, she's uh, pregnant right now. And like her belly, her belly's pretty big. So I mean, I feel, I feel she doesn't necessarily have to work, and and she should be provide like some leeway as as to when her belly starts really showing, cause like it's it's pretty big right now. What what if you and your girl are like spreading out? Where you spread house where with your girl help her do some stuff in, at home when you guys like like clean the house or you do this where you help with that? Will yeah, no, mo that? most definitely. I feel there there's a a dire need to split our responsibilities if if she were to be pregnant. Um, I know we talked about this earlier with uh, why can't the male uh like feed the baby well because like they had the baby has to be breastfed <laughs> but, <laughs> but yes can... certainly i can't do that but i mean if there if there are already bottles in place you know sure i can take off one of her nights you know to uh help assist the baby or um i love cleaning so i i, I would tend to do all the cleaning <laughs> that sounds good i don't like cleaning. <laughs> yeah. i mean I, I would clean everything from the roof to the floor um as long as she took care of the laundry, probably, you know? Yeah. And that's something.